brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Let's go to the phone lines. We've got Rylan in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, Rylan, what's going on? Hey, hey guys, how are you? Doing good. How can we help? Good, good. I have a question. Um, I don't know if you've uh, been keeping up to date lately, but uh, cryptocurrency has been uh, kind of jumping up. Uh, oh, yeah. In the last month. Yeah. Yeah. About time, man. <laughs> Yeah, I've been holding it for a while, and I've been waiting for this for a little bit. So it finally <laughs> happened, and I what do you always have? knew this Funny. day would come. What, what, what coin do you have, and how much you got? Uh, I have Ethereum, and it's gone up to, uh, I think it's gone up to 20000 now. Okay. All right. So what's your uh, or, what's your question? So, I, so you I have 20000 worth of 20, Ethereum. Yeah, 20000 worth of Ethereum. Because it. it's at, it's at 3300 um yes right so i i bought ethereum uh, a few like two years ago i want to say you have six Six ethereum in case you're doing the math at home oh okay yeah uh i um right so i lost my place i apologize Uh, it's all good so you have 20 grand worth of crypto yes i was going to ask uh, i bought a new car in 2021 and uh, i put down 23 24,000 on it and i still owe 17 now so I'm at a point where I could pay it off completely and still have a few thousand left over. Mm-hmm. Um, but my fiance and I are discussing uh, moving into a house and uh, growing our family and, and whatnot. We already have a, a two-year-old. I know what you're going to say to that. We're not married yet, but we are going to get married. When? Uh, my, uh, Tomorrow? We, uh, it's, it's on me. It's on me. I'm so bad at planning. I could barely plan a vacation. The really cool thing about when you go to the courthouse is you don't even have to have that much of a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking on you a little bit, but please get married. Yeah, Soon. I know. Hey, you know what? I deserve that. Yes, I know. I'm I'm good with the courthouse, but <laughs> she wants a wedding. I'm yes, going to give her should, a wedding. You definitely should have a party. I'm not saying that you should not have a party, but if it's just, if you're talking about moving in and all this, you've already got a kid, man, just get that certificate. No one even has to know that you have the certificate. Like, just get it for legal purposes. You're all protected. <laughs> and then tell Throw all your friends later. we're having a wedding <laughs> right. when the time right, comes. Right, right. But to to Thank your point, you. to answer your question, yeah, man, I'm clearing out this crypto immediately. I'm paying off your smallest debt if it happens to be your car in this case. Yeah, more power to you. You'll have, you'll have a paid for car. And I would not buy a house uh, until you're married and until you have the money to afford the house, which would include not only paying off your debt, but saving up three to six months of expenses and having the property on payment. Okay, thank you for that. What was making me nervous was that seventeen grand kind of going away, you know. Uh, it makes me nervous car. that you bought a $40,000 car. How much do you make? Uh, well, I... Oh, oh Jay hung I'm sorry, up I in lost mid-sentence. You. Let me oh, go let's back. Get you, we'll get you back. There You're we back. Go. There you are. Right. Sorry what about do you that. Make? Sorry. <laughs> I make 50. Uh, my fiance makes 40. Holy so crap. Together. You make 50 yeah, grand a year and, bought... and you bought a $40,000 car? I bought a fifty-one thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Oh my word! <laughs> I, Rylan, I you may not do a lot of planning, but it. you plan to be broke. <laughs> like, well, let, let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys. Okay, it's a two point four nine percent APR loan. Oh well, in that and case, this- Rylan, you got me. We'll never be impressed by that, Rylan. <laughs> Did you get a free T-shirt to go along with it from the dealership after they screwed you? Uh, well, it's a Tesla, so there's no dealership oh, involved. Oh, no, not on a Tesla. Well, in that case. <laughs> As a Tesla driver, it, I'm telling you, that was a terrible decision. Because oh, I know how Teslas have gone down in value. Because Elon's like, you know what? Cut the price down, ten grand. I don't care. Yikes. I agree. What it's is the car worth? Decision. Well, right now, uh, I haven't checked, but I, I'm gonna, I want to keep it for the next ten years. Dear you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you You've mean. You've committed to this car more than your relationship, dude. Well, how, how so? You're more committed to this car than your hopefully soon-to-be spouse. Because if you were committed uh, to her for the next 10 years, you'd put a freaking ring on it and go to the courthouse today. But you're willing to drive yeah. a depreciating asset while telling us that you have a great interest rate on it while buying a car that's worth more than your annual income. Mm-hmm. Do you have any other debt? Uh, I used to have 6000 in credit card, but I paid that off. 
Okay. Are the cards still around? Have you cut them up yet? Uh, yeah, I practically cut them up. Uh, 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 not what practically. What does that mean? Come on, man. <laughs> They're either cut up, <laughs> never to be seen again, or they're sitting in your freezer in a block of ice. Which one is it? Uh, they're in my wallet. I um, want to say collecting dust, but that's not exactly true. Okay. Rylan, you're making it so easy to fire shots so right now. what's going to happen? If, if Is your girlfriend, fiance, is she going to say, no, 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 don't sell it. We need to buy a house. What are you doing? Don't pay off the car. Is that what's going to happen when you tell her? Well, I already did talk to her about it, and we've been discussing it, and it's you know, we were thinking that maybe we'd use the money as emergency slash a couple grand for furnishings. And, and, you know, because the APR percentage on the car is so low to... You're talking about the wrong numbers. Out. We're talking about... We're talking. Oh, my bro- gosh. Broke people... Let me... Let, let's just talk about this the way it is. Rylan, broke people talk about interest rates um, on their debt. They care more about the interest mm-hmm. rate on their debt. They care more about the monthly payment on their debt. They care about how the what the debt is doing for their credit score. That's how broke people talk. That's how poor people talk who don't think it's that they can. about payments and interest rates. Yeah. They don't think they can get ahead without borrowing money and without borrowing at whatever interest rate they talk about. What we're talking about over here on this show and what we want to teach people is that life is more than that. You can actually take your income. It's your biggest wealth building tool and you can do amazing things with it. You can actually pay for your life in real time. And um, Mm -hmm. that's what we want to get you to. And I think right now, you know, I'm not going to lie, like shifting a mindset that takes some time. I don't expect it to happen right here in a a four minute call, but um, I've got just the book for you before we leave. I, I will send to you in the mail. It's called breaking free from broke. And I wrote it for people like you to help them make this very difficult paradigm shift. Yeah. Because I used to think like you, Ryan. That's why I have a love for you. I want to change your mind so badly Mm. because I believe in you and your ability to build wealth. But it takes doing some different things. And one of those things is not buying a $51,000 Tesla when we don't even make $51,000. Yeah. Did we, did we tell you the rule of thumb? Like going forward, one of the ways we want to shift your mindset is going forward. We don't want... Whatever you earn per year, your vehicles, the things going down in value should not equal more than half of that. That's kind of a rule of thumb. That's what's fair. We also say that if you're going to purchase a brand new vehicle, you should not do that until you have a net worth of $1 million or more because you're able to take the hit. You're able to basically take that money that you would depreciate within those first four to five, six years and just put it in a pile and burn it and you wouldn't even break a sweat. Like your temperature, your heart rate wouldn't raise one bit. And so that's the way we teach that. And then at the end of the day, we want people to buy vehicles in cash because we know that the car payment is what separates the middle class from the wealthy class. We know that the car payment is what makes most Americans, most people in general broke because they're giving away such a high percentage of their biggest wealth building tool every single month in payments. It's like it goes like housing and mortgage, student loans, car payment. You can flip student loans and car payment depending on who you are, but those are the top, those two debts, student loans and car payments are the things that keep people debt and in debt and keep them from building wealth. And so hopefully you got that from this conversation. A lot going on here, but Ryan, I'll tell you, you know what beats a 2.49% APR, the APR on my Tesla, which is zero. And not because I got a 0% financing deal. It's because I bought a 10 year old Tesla in cash. Not because it's a flex, but because I don't care what other people think, and I know this is a toy going down in value. So (sighs) hang on the line. I'm going to send you a copy of my book, Breaking Free from Broke. Read it. Give me a one-page report, and uh, and I'll send (laughs) you a gift in the mail. Create your free every dollar budget today, the simplest way to budget for your life.